Hi there and welcome to tutorial 18 on finding the mean and variance for a discrete random variable and this is for the edxl s1 a level module and is applicable to most other exam boards also and as always if you're looking for further help with your studies do check out youtube.com slash mr arnold's maths okay let's uh, crack on straight away and talk about the mean or uh, what's known as the expected value of a discrete random variable. So the expected value, which is the mean of a discrete random variable, is given by the formula, uh, the sum of x times the probability of each event. So if we wanted the expected value of x, um, we take the particular value for each one, multiply it by its probability, and then sum them all together. So let's just see it in action now. Um, we've got um, the number of laptop laptops per household are shown in a frequency table um, we're asked first of all to calculate the mean so I'm going to save myself a little bit of time um, and I've already worked out what the sum of fx is and the sum of f so we should be fairly confident working out that x bar equals the sum of fx over the sum of f uh, so that's going to be 130 over 100 and that's going to give us 1.3 so that's the mean now let's see what happens when we worked out when we work out the expected value so um i'm asked here to draw the probability distribution table for x where x is the number of laptops in a house picked at random so um we do a little x here for all our particular values and this is the probability that my random variable has that particular value so all the particular values we could have is we could have a household that has zero laptops a household that has one laptop a household that has two laptops or a household that has three laptops and what's the probability that i choose a household that has zero laptops well there are 10 of those and all together there are 100 households so the probability is 10 out of 100. What's the probability that I uh, choose a household that has only one laptop in it? Well, there's 55 of those out of 100. So 55 out of 100. Uh, 2 is going to be 30 out of 100. And 3 will be 5 out of 100. So there's a probability of five, that 5 out of 100 houses has 3 laptops. And just reminding ourselves of what the formula is for the expected value. The expected value of a discrete random variable x is simply the sum of the particular value multiplied by its probability. So the sum of all the particular values multiplied by its probabilities. So I'm going to do the expected value of x equals 0 times by the probability that that happens, which is 10 out of 100. 1 so I'm, and I'm summing these up plus one times by 55 out of 100 plus two so that's the particular value multiplied by its probability two multiplied by 30 over 100 plus three multiplied by its probability which is five out of 100 Okay, so uh, I'm going to try and do this without a calculator. 0 times 10 over 100 is 0. Plus, well, 1 times 55 over 100 is 55 over 100. Plus, well, 2 times 30 over 100 is 60 over 100. Um, and 3 times 15, or uh, 5 over 100 is 15 over 100. And adding these all together, 55 and 60 is 115. 115 and 15 is 130 out of 100. And 130 divided by 100 is 1.3. And hopefully you notice that the mean, when we calculate it from the frequency table, is identical to the expected value when we use our probability distribution table. Okay, so let's uh, give another example and then we'll get you to do one. So, uh, x is a discrete random variable with a probability distribution given below. I'm asked to find k and then the expected value of x. 
So to get K, well, I know that the sum of the probabilities, remember that the sum of the probabilities must equal one. So I know that 5K plus K plus 2K plus 2K must equal one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we get 10K equals one. That means K equals one tenth. So K is one tenth. Right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna update my table here. So instead of 5K, I will have five over 10. Instead of K, I've got one over 10. Instead of 2K, I've got two over 10. And instead of 2K, I've got two over 10. And just double checking that this all adds up to one. Five and one is six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 10 over 10 is indeed one. So that's, that's good. Next thing I've got to do is work out the expected value of X. And the expected value of a discrete random variable is the sum of the particular value multiplied by its probability. So the sum of the particular value x multiplied by its probability. So the expected value of x is going to be 1 times 5 over 10. 1 times 5 over 10 plus 2 times 1 over 10. plus 3 times 2 over 10 plus 4 times 2 over 10 and let's try and do this again without the calculator so 1 times 5 over 10 is 5 over 10 plus 2 times 1 over 10 is 2 over 10 plus three times two over 10 is six over 10, and four times two over 10 is eight over 10. And let's add these all together. Five and two is seven, uh, seven and six is 13, 13 and eight is 21. So we get 21 over 10, which is 2.1. Okay, uh, time for you to have a go now. So here's a question, pause the video, uh, work out K and then the expected value of X. Okay, hopefully you managed to do that. Uh, here is the solution. So I added up all the uh, Ks. That must be equal to 1. So that means K is a 12th. Then I fill them back in below. And we can, uh, we can then work out the expected value. So 3 times 3 over 12 plus 4 times 2 over 12, etc., etc. Um, once we've uh, worked that out, we get 4.72. Okay, so that's the mean or expected value of a discrete random variable. Let's take a look now at the variance. So, just a reminder uh, from before, we should remember that the variance is uh, the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. So, essentially what we end up with, the variance of a discrete random variable is going to be the expected value of the squares minus the square of the expected value. So let's, uh, before we actually calculate the variance of x, we need to know how to calculate the expected value of x squared. And it's fairly straightforward. So I'm going to use my previous example um, where we calculated the expected value to be 21 over 10 or 2.1. Now to get the expected value of x squared, what you need to do is you sum the particular value squared multiplied by its probability. So it's the particular value squared multiplied by its probability. Let's see it in action. So the expected value of x squared equals 1 squared times 5 over 10 plus 2 squared. So each particular value I'm going to square now and multiply it by its corresponding probability plus 3 squared by 2 over 10 plus 4 squared by 2 over 10 so uh, 1 squared is 1 1 times 5 is 5 over 10 plus well 2 squared is 4 4 times 1 over 10 is 4 over 10 
uh, 3 squared is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, so plus 18 over 10, plus 4 squared is 16, 16 times 2 is 32 over 10, and then adding these together, 5 and 4 is 9, 9 and 18 is 27, 27 and 32 is 55. 20, it's not 55, it's 59. 27 and 32 is 59. So 59 over 10, which is 5.9. So that's the expected value of x squared. So now using the question that you did earlier, uh, work out what the value of uh, the expected value of x squared is. Okay, hopefully you've managed to do that. Um, this was the final answer I got, 22.8. So I took each particular value, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I squared each one before I multiplied by its probability. Add them all together, and then we get 22.8. Okay, so now we know how to find uh, the expected value of x. We also know how to find the expected value of x squared. So we can put those two together now to find the variance. So these are the previous answers I had. Um, we had uh, 21 over 10, or... Uh, 2.1 and 59 over 10 which is 5.9 so to get the variance I just follow the formula so it's the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean so the variance for my discrete random variable x will equal the mean of the squares or uh, the expected value of x squared which is 5.9 minus the square of the mean minus 2.1 squared so let's get the calculator out for this one. 5.9 minus 2.1 to be squared gives me 1.49. 1.49. And it's as easy as that. So once you can find the expected value and the expected value of x squared, the variance should be a doddle. Okay, so again, using the answers you have from uh, the previous questions you've done, there's the expected value of x, there's the expected value of x squared. Now you can calculate the variance of x. Okay, hopefully there wasn't too much difficulty with that. You should have done 22.8 minus 4.72 squared, which gives you 0 0.5216. Okay, uh, one last thing to show you, uh, which is basically a kind of a problem-solving question. So suppose that i have a random variable x and it has a probability distribution shown below and i'm told that the expected value of x is 3.1 and i'm asked to find the value of p and q so there's a number of things we have to use here we have to remember that now i've got two uh, unknowns um, and i've got some information here and i can get some more information in, in a second i'll explain that um, so I, i'm actually looking at a simultaneous equation type question so Let's start with this. I can use this information here. Remember that the sum of all the probabilities must add up to 1. So let's get my first equation by stating that 0 0.1 plus p plus 0 0.1 plus q plus 0 0.1 must add up to 1. The sum of the probabilities has to add up to 1 because it's a discrete random variable. So 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 is 0 0.3. Zero, uh, p plus q plus 0 0.3 must equal 1 and that means that p plus q equals 1 minus 0 0.3 which is 0 0.7 so that's my first equation now i can get my second equation because i know the expected value and how do we get the expected value you take the particular value and you multiply it by its corresponding probability so the particular value multiplied by its corresponding probability so my second equation is going to come from the fact that I know uh, the expected value the the expected value of X equals 1 times 0 0.1 plus 2 times P plus 3 times 0 0.1 so I'm taking each particular value and multiply it by its probability plus 4 times q 
plus 5 times 0 0.1 and that must add up to it must because it tells me in the question it must come to 3.1 so let's tidy this up a little bit uh, 1 times 0 0.1 so that implies 1, 1 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.1 plus 2p plus 0 0.3 so multiplying this out plus 4q and plus 0 0.5 5 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.5 that must add to 3.1 let's tidy up my equation here uh, 2p plus 4q 2p plus 4 Q and then point 0.1, point 0.3 is point 0.4, point 0.4 and point 0.5 is 0 0.9 plus 0 0.9 equals 3.1. So 2p plus 4q equals well 3.1 take away 0 0.9 is going to give me 2.2. .2. And just a reminder that that's equation two. Okay, now I'm going to use both equations and solve for P and Q. So let's start, uh, let's go up here just because I've got a bit of space. So 2P plus 4Q equals 2.2. And just a reminder that that's equation 2. Now this is equation 1. Um, I want to eliminate uh, P's or Q's. So I'm going to multiply everything in equation 1 by 2. I'm going to take equation 1. And I'm going to multiply everything in it by 2. So instead of P, I'm going to have 2P. Instead of Q, I'm going to have 2Q. And instead of 0 0.7, I will have 1.4. So take everything in equation 1 and double it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract this bottom line from the top line. So 2P, take away 2P, is 0. So the P's get eliminated, which is what we want. 4Q, take away 2Q, is 2Q. And then 2.2, take away 1.4, is going to be uh, 0 0.8, which means that Q equals, so Q equals 0 0.4. Okay, so now I know Q is 0 0.4. Let's go back to equation one. If Q is 0 0.4, that means P must be 0 0.3. So that means that P must be 0 0.3. And let's just finally check our answers by seeing if they match up with this. If P is 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and Q was 0 0.4, let's hope that these all add up to 1. Uh, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 is 0 0.4. 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 0 0.1 gives me 1. So I'm happy with that. Um, time for you to have a go now. So similar question again. There is a discrete random variable, uh, the probability distribution. I've also given you the expected value. Uh, so see if you can form two equations and find the value of A and B. Okay, hopefully you've managed that one. Uh, here is the solution. So uh, I worked out that uh, B was 0 0.125 and A was 0 0.175. Uh, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful. So just a reminder now of what questions you should be able to do. Uh, you should be able to have a good go at exercise 8C and 8D. Uh, as I said, that's all for now. I'll be back with a new video soon. Best of luck with the vision and I'll talk to you again sometime. Take it easy.